Happy people, I'm back with another video and today I'm going to show you all how this beautiful set looks after two to three weeks of wear. If you all missed my initial application video, I'm going to leave that link down in the description box below. I'll go into full detail about the products that I use as well as how I apply them. So this is what my nails look like after one week of wear and I must say that my nails were holding up quite nicely. Um, again, when I applied these nails, I did apply them with um, uh, a protein bond. Uh, a peel-off base coat, a regular base coat, Hema-free candy base coat, as well as, um, and then I did base and top coat. Um, so as you all can see here, there's ever so slight lifting on the nails. And um, th I think this was the only nail that was like lifting really bad. The rest of the nails were still on um, and holding up quite nicely. And to be honest with you guys, I mean, it looks like I just did my nails, right? So there's slight lifting on all the nails. You all can see here, there's a little bit of lifting, a little bit of lifting, um, but the new growth is very minimal. There's no lifting as well on these nails here, but the new growth is very minimal. And again, it looks like I just did my nails. So I was very happy with how my nails turned out. Um, I think I was going to end up having to pop the, um, the thumbnail off. I'm showing you all the underside of the nails, how they still look clean because I applied that top coat underneath it to seal everything in but yeah y'all after one week of wear y'all can see these nails still look great they still felt like they were holding on really strong just that thumbnail felt like it was about to pop off and i think after when i show you guys my two week update you'll see that i ended up having to reapply that but outside of that look at them they look good they look beautiful um very happy with this method again if you all missed the original application video i am going to leave that link down in the description box below um, i'll show you all how i apply them in full detail um, to get that finished look. Um, I don't know what I'm doing here. I think I'm still just, you know, talking about how good and strong the nails feel. And here I was really impressed too, with just having applied only the base and the top coat, how strong the actual press on nail felt or the gel X nail felt, uh, because, um, it felt very strong. I didn't experience any breakage or anything like that. So I think these nails were only like $4. So I was really impressed at how good that they held up. Uh, but yeah, let's go ahead and get into the two week update. Okay. So here is two weeks later. And as you all can see, I got a little bit of new growth here. So right here at my cuticle area, you can see that the nails are starting to grow out ever so slightly, but they still look beautiful. Um, again, this is the candy top coat and base coat that I used. Um, in my original video, I do show detailed, I give you detailed instructions about how I applied the nails and getting them to look this good. But as you all can see that new growth here, as you all can see, the nails look really great. Um, I mean, they're just holding on really great. So that thumbnail did pop off. I just went ahead and reapplied it with some super glue. Um, and then that top coat I was really happy with because there was no scratching or anything like that. Um, that nail felt like it was, oh, okay. I think the index finger I ended up having to reapply with super glue. You see the middle finger has severe lifting, but it never actually popped off as well as the ring finger. And then I'm showing that there was a little bit of lifting on all the rest of the nails. That nail did not pop off. That one did pop off with some super glue, but I needed to super glue it back on. Um, and here I'm just showing lifting here, lifting here, lifting here and uh lifting here so i think i lost only like two nails i reapplied them with a little bit of nail glue but as you all can see they still look great after two weeks so this is my three week update as you all can see there is a lot of new growth but i did have a lot of casualties with my nails but let's look here that's new growth at all the cuticles for all the nails you can see they've grown out quite nicely uh, i did have a few casualties i think the index and pinky finger and the thumbnails on all the nails did pop off. The only two that stayed on was the middle and the ring finger and the rest of them did pop off. This index finger here is ready to just come off. It's holding on for dear life. And um, yeah, I was very happy with how they held up. Like I said, after two weeks, I did want to take them off, but I literally didn't have time. So throughout the week, any nail that popped off, I went ahead and just reapplied it with um, nail glue. And that's the nail glue that I used. It's from Enel Couture. It held up quite nicely. Was happy with that. Um, but yeah, so again, the ones that on my index, I'm sorry, on my middle finger and on my ring finger, those nails did not pop off at all. So I do think that you can get definitely two weeks, upwards of three weeks of wear with that method that I showed you all with the application. Um, I love doing Gel-X nails. 
um and so i'm gonna always kind of do them in the future but this here is that nail rebinder really quick i'm gonna show you guys how to take them off and again the ring finger and the middle finger that is still with the original application method um of gel x nails and so i'm going to show you all how that debinder is with it again that's just the super glue i mean the nail glue that i use so i'm going to take a little bit of this nail debinder and i'm going to apply it around the cuticle area of all the nails as well as uh, just kind of take my brush and shove it underneath the nail you get as much as that product on your nail as possible uh, just to get it to loosen up and it really does just eat through the product so this right here is kind of like a two-in-one because it shows how the, the bonder works with not only nail glue but then also with a gel x application so um, again you just take it shove it underneath the nail and loosen it up and while i'm removing these nails um i did want to just mention that um, i have experienced a little bit of slight contact dermatitis while doing the gel x method so during the application i showed you all how important it is to ensure that you don't get these gel products on your nails um I mean, on your skin, I did get some on my skin in the past using other products, and I think I had a reaction to it. Um, and so that's what made me want to switch to trying it out with a HEMA free product, which is why I chose the candy base and top coat um, for this application. And I, I will say I did not experience any uh, reaction using the HEMA free products. And so that's just something to keep in mind whenever you're uh, using these gel products, being really careful um with your application um just to try to avoid that contact but again um, i do go into full detail about the actual products that i use in my original application video as well as um how to apply them but here you, you all are seeing how easy this nail is popping off again i'm just shoving that um that nail debonder underneath the nail i mean i'm very generous you guys like i don't you know I don't skimp on this at all but i shove it underneath there and then as you all can see the nail is just you know ever so slightly starting to lift again you'll want to take your um orange wood stick put it underneath the nail and kind of roll it a little bit and as you're rolling it um you'll see that the nail will just naturally kind of like loosen from the actual um, nail itself um so again i'm just going underneath the nail twisting it and then you all see the nail just pops right on off I'll continue to do that with all the rest of the nails as well. I'm throwing a little bit more product on the top just to get some of that, you know, um, nail res just the residue from the products off my, my natural nail, but go underneath. And breaking the seal is also really important too. Sometimes you have to break that seal in order to get the nail to pop off, but going underneath, twisting it, and it will pop off. So I'm gonna just let you all watch me remove the rest of my nails, and then I will be back shortly. Okay, as you can see, the, all the nails have been popped off, and I'm just applying some more of that debonder to the nail just to try to loosen, like I said, the residue of the, the products that's still on. Um, and next, I'm going to go in with a little bit of acetone, and I'm just going to try to remove even more of that product from the surface of my nail. After I use um, the acetone, I go in and I just file off whatever remaining product is left on my nails and then from there i go in with a little bit of cuticle oil and then you all will see here shortly how my nails look they look nice they look healthy um 
and I love using this method for applying my personal nails. So again, if you all missed the original application video, I am going to leave that link down in the description box below um, so that you all can know how to safely apply the nails. Um, and then again, this is the candy top coat. It is HEMA free and it's vegan. And I think it worked really, really well. I didn't experience any reactions when using this product. This here are the $4 press on nails that I used. And again, with a little bit of base and top coat, they are very strong and sturdy. Um, and again, I think the candy top coat was like six bucks. And so this, what I'm showing on the screen is only like under $10. And then the gooseneck lamp I used was like another 10 bucks. So whole application was under $25. Highly recommended. Um, just great and affordable. All products are from Amazon. I'm going to leave that link down in the description box below, but just as a reminder, this is what the nails look like and you all saw how they grew out. So very happy with this and hope you all enjoyed the video and I'll see you on my next one.